What's up you guys? So today we're going to be doing a full soak off removal with acetone. And these are my nails. I had a full set on. They were so cute and I wore them for a long time. Unfortunately, none of them popped off or even show any signs of coming off. So I went ahead and clipped on my nails. I took my e-file and removed the bulk of the nail. I went in with my hand file around the cuticle and side walls to just kind of thin those out a little bit more, make the process, the removal process a little easier. I went ahead and lined my bowl with aluminum foil. I only did this because I had some laying around and I didn't have any other use for it. I don't recommend it, but it does make for an easier cleanup. Then I went ahead and poured in my acetone which I just um, put in enough for it to cover the nails, not so much overflowing toward the point where it's like all over my cuticles or all over my actual fingers. And here we are about six minutes in and it's looking pretty nice, pretty, pretty nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the timer. I'm actually just keeping track of about how long it takes. I think it ended up taking about 20 minutes then you're going to go in with your little cuticle pusher. You're going to remove remove the excess that has started to get eaten up by the acetone. Once you remove that, then you're going to go ahead and stick it back into the bowl. Basically, you'll just continue to do these steps until all of the product is removed. And look how beautifully it's just scraping away from the nail. It literally is just, OMG, such an ASMR moment for me. Alright you guys, so while I'm doing this soak off, I just want to go ahead and let you guys know about a little problem that I ran into before personally, and I also saw a few girls that have run into this problem before in a group that I'm in on Facebook, a beginner's nail group, and so I think this is important to talk about, especially for all the DIY nail girls. All the beginners when you're starting out and you're investing into your products I definitely want to tell you guys this removal process is a beautiful removal like you see how the product comes off the nails it's just magnificent even some of the nails you will see once they start to get pretty thin I can kind of like push them straight off like pop the little bitty layer that's left over just pop it right off the nail and and then when you guys see the end of the video you see how beautiful my natural nails still look after this removal which unfortunately I didn't get to go through like a full manicure on this video but I did do the full removal and you guys will see my natural nails at the end um, this is all the result of investing into quality products and also investing into knowledge in this industry, which directs me to my point of mentioning this topic is that sometimes you may run into products that are not good and maybe not personally, but maybe through people that you encounter. Like I did a removal for a girl once and she had gotten her nails done by some lady. And when I was soaking her nail, like her acrylic off, her nail extension off, the 
product became very slimy and it was really weird i didn't understand what was going on but i'm like well obviously it has to be the product that was used and i have seen more and more people talking about this and i have also built up my awareness and there are products out there that contain bad ingredients such as mma that will ruin your natural nails and the results that i've seen on some girls nails are very very bad so i just want to let you guys know please be sure that you know who you're shopping with and what products you're investing into um i do have recommendations i don't have my amazon storefront up yet but i will be getting it up and on my storefront i will be putting out like um like i'll include on my list all of the things that i personally have used from amazon the stores on there or the brands that i trust personally and then in my description boxes moving forward when i do nail tutorials i will let you guys know like what products i'm using and everything like that but i just want to let you guys know that for all the beginners if you didn't already know do be aware of the products that contain harmful ingredients Alright you guys, so at this point I am nearly done and you guys see me pushing things out the way. I am ready to get in there, like give me my hand file, let me file off anything that's left. I want to see my beautiful natural nails, I don't have time to be sitting up in this acetone. So around 20 minutes, if you do everything correctly and you just wait it out, like you guys saw the time marks, probably around like 6 minutes, 10 minutes. 15 minutes 18 minutes i took my hand out you gotta be patient that's the most important thing when it comes to a healthy soak off